Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a while, sorry I haven't done this in a while. I'm gonna try out a wear test with you and it's based on a foundation. And this is the foundation I'm gonna be wear testing for you. It's Revolution Makeup Revolution London Concern Defined Full Coverage Foundation. This is what it looks like. It's just, a, it's in a frosted glass. So now I'm gonna look on the website. So I have the one in F3. I did do the Fast Base uh, foundation F2, but it was a little bit light for me. I can bronze myself up, but I chose the one F3. Hopefully, it is the right shade. Hopefully, I'm being hopeful. So, I'm just on the Revolution uh, website. You can get this on Superdrug as well. I got this at Superdrug for £9. On the Revolution website, it's £9 as well. It is a 20 film, 23 mil foundation. I do have one that is. 32 mil so this one is 23 mil and it is a bit low but all foundations are not going to be the same the average one is 30 mil for a foundation to come in but it's still nine quid and i do like it it comes in a variety of different shades that is what i love about this foundation i can't i don't see how high-end people high-end brands can create a foundation and not have as much shades as the revolution does this comes in to f1 i believe to f1 to f18 which is the darkest shade and I find that really good. It is so beautiful the way they've come up with every shade. And it's only for nine quid as well. And it's supposed to be for few full coverage. So this just says it is. So I've got the one in F3 for fair skin tones with a cool undertone. Uh, I have more of a yellow undertone, so I still got F2. But at the minute, I'm going to try the cool undertone. So it's vegan and it's quarter free. This is what I love because I'm a vegan myself. It's vegan and quarter free. You put it under with a brush or a stamp. Damp sponge so i'm going to put on with a damp sponge just because i've heard lots of people saying it's really good with the damp sponge and with the brush you have to layer it but it does get really good but it goes really cakey at the end this is a demi matte foundation which i love it is a liquid foundation so what that just means it is a matte but it comes up with a demi kind of glow to it so right so the first thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to put some primer on i always like to put primer on when i do first impressions or wear tests for anything because I like to give the foundation a fighting chance that's what I love because I don't want to basically not give a foundation a fighting chance I believe all foundations deserve a fighting chance and this one is revolution it goes really to it goes cracky which I love about it it is the super extract do need to get some more of this I am literally I am literally wearing this I'm wearing it all day because I don't put my makeup every day so I've just got a damn beauty a damn real technique sponge now what I don't get with people with this is I've heard this comes with a, a doe for applicator oh that is a big doe for applicator that is so big it like covers my eye but some people don't like this because it has a doe for applicator. I don't care. I love products with when they stick, a doe for applicator or pump. I don't mind what it comes in as long as it, you know, does its job and everything. You rave about this going, oh my god, it's a doe for applicator. It's bacteria that goes in your face. Listen, you wash your face every day, so I don't see the problem. And I've got a Revolution concealer here, which is an F2, and it's got a doe for applicator. So what's the point? I put doe for applicators underneath my eye with a tart shape tape with this. With any concealer, I, it comes with doe for applicator. Not all the time, but sometimes it does. And you put it on with that, so I don't see why it should be any different with your face. Like, I know people are like, oh, very bacteria but you're going to wash your face every day and it's going to be clean every day and you're going to put primer on so literally this is only going on your face if you are sharing this with other people then i see the problem but if you're choosing it for yourself i don't see the problem so it comes in a big doe for applicator which is good so let's apply it so i'm just applying it all over just to make sure, just pine on one face just to see the difference. I'm just gonna put one layer on. Let's blend it out. Doesn't have really a kind of smell to it, which is kind of nice. So let's blend this out. Okay, I need to. Huh. Okay, the shade is kind of good for me actually. The shade is kind of, it's all right for me actually. It does look a little bit light on camera, but on me, it looks really good. So I've just kind of done one pump, one swipe all over. And I still see some, I still see some on my skin. It does look very natural, but I do, it says full coverage. So let's see if I build it up. 
what does it look like when I build it up? I do love the Fenty Beauty, I've been using it, but I do want to try some other foundations as well. I've got this one. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, that is pretty good actually. It's really good. I do like it. So it is kind of, it does have a sheen to it. Like it doesn't, it isn't really matte. It just does have a little bit of a sheen to it, which I really like. It looks beautiful on the skin. It doesn't feel, I feel like I'm wearing a moisturizer or a tinted moisturizer, but it does feel really good. But it's kind of sucking, the sponge is kind of sucking up the product though, which is what I don't like. So I'm just gonna do, it just a little bit here. Don't want to be too cakey, but I'm I love cakiness, like I don't care. It does come off as full coverage. I still see like some of my moles and everything. It has come off like my redness. It's just kind of blocked out everything. So this is one face compared to the other. It's kind of blocked out everything. And that it's blocked out everything. I'm loving that. This side is more blocked out than this side. It's just giving me a nice even skin tone. So let's go on the other side now and try it on the other side which is gonna be okay so let's try this on the other side so i'm gonna put some more on okay what i don't like there this is i'm gonna have to keep dipping in which i'm not a big fan of um i like the fast base foundation i think that's really good Okay, I do like it, it's even on both sides. It does look really even. It is like transfer, it does transfer because you do need to set this as well. But it doesn't transfer as much, but I'm kind of liking it. First impressions, I like it. I'm not in love with it. I need to see how it goes on the day. I'm not in love with it, I'm not. But I'm gonna see how it goes on through the rest of the day and I will check back in with you as well. But I'm gonna go off, do the rest of my face and then come back when my whole makeup is done. So guys, I am back and I've got my makeup on. I've got a nose ring in, don't normally have it in, but I've got a nose ring in. Um, but yeah, this is my finished makeup look. I do like it. I, it does look a lot different now that I've got on my face. I actually, I actually do like it. It is really good. The foundation is really nice. I do like it. It's looks so flawless and full coverage. Like once you've got it on your face and you don't have any makeup on, it looks a bit it just doesn't look right but once you've got the rest of your makeup on it just looks stunning and i do like it there's no creasing at the minute i don't get a lot of creasing because i don't have such deep set wrinkles all i have is my smile lines and they're not deep at all i did set this with powder i think the powder does pay off so well when you set it with powder i'm not in love with it yet maybe if i go in throughout the day i'll probably love it some more it doesn't feel like i've got foundation on it doesn't. I would say though, the concealer I used with this was the, the Revolutions Concealer in F in C2, which this concealer defined. I got to tell you something, these two paired together, they've done a great job. They are so paired together. I absolutely do love these two together. This one's in C3, this one's in C2. They work so well together, combined. They just are a brilliant, I'm just loving it. I am gonna get the super size one of this because I do realize that this is gonna run out really soon. This, I could, might get this in a darker shade for when I tan. I don't normally, um, but I think I will for this one. I do love the Fast Base and see uh, foundation, but this is getting the vibe for me at the minute. It's just really beautiful. I do absolutely love it. So I'll come back throughout the day and see, tell you what I think of the foundation. So yeah, I'll see you guys in an hour or two. And I'm gonna be doing an update on this foundation. Right, I have a bit of a problem with this foundation. My husband Kat has just come home and he wants to kiss me, so we've been kissing and snogging and literally my foundation has rubbed off around my nose, around my mouth. It has been on for my face for about four, about three to four hours. It looks good on the forehead, on the cheeks, around my chin sunk into my smile expressions really deep do get that but i don't get it this bad um I, i'm gonna sh show you i'm gonna move in a bit closer so you can see what i mean it's kind of rubbed off around my nose it's kind of rubbed off around my chin where i'm snogging my husband so my husband has come home so i've been snogging him so it's what I, he likes to do we like to kiss and everything if you do wear this foundation it's gonna come off like on the nose. It's come off quite a bit. 
and you see there's a bit of there that has actually come off. I haven't touched off, it just come off. And this is with Sit and Spray and Primer on as well, so it's a bit of, uh, around my cheeks, it's really nice, and on my forehead it's really nice, around my nose, it's kind of coming up around my nose as well. It's sunk into my expression lines, my smile lines, sunk in there. Okay, up a little bit around my nose. I don't know what to say about this foundation. Don't know what to say. I like it, but it's if you're planning to do any kissing or any snogging or physical contact with your husband or your boyfriend, I don't recommend you wear this foundation. I love the forehead. The forehead is really nice, but around my nose, I didn't think I'd get oily around my nose, but I've gotten really oily around my nose and it's actually transferring around my nose. I will come back to you and I will do my final, I'll come back with my final update and that I will do for you and i see you guys very soon. So guys, I'm back and it's the final part of my video. Certain things, I like it. If you're not kissing or smoking your boyfriend, if you're ass and kissing, whatever you want to your boyfriend, don't wear it. It's really caked up around my nose and the side of my nose, it's not looking great. I've never had this do with, done with the foundation, but I will bring you closer to show you. That is close up. And as you can see, that is happening to my nose. This never normally happens. I got around the nose. It's come off. It's come off around about there. Lipstick's on there. My forehead looks really good. And the cheeks do. But that has just come off and you see it's going into the pores very much. As you can see, it's just not looking it's just not looking good. But I still want to keep trying to see what it's like. I will keep trying it if I don't kiss my boyfriend or snog my boyfriend, but it's off the top of my nose, which is ridiculous. So like I've never had that happen with a foundation, not this badly. But when you do play with it, it does come off on your hands. It does do a little bit of transfer when it goes really oily. It has a little bit of transfer. I do love it on my forehead. I do recommend this. I will wear this again. I will try it out. I don't normally buy foundations to never use them again. I normally buy them and keep using them. So I'm going to keep using this, testing this out, see how I like it. Um, first of all, I'm not loving it. I'm liking it. I'm loving, I'm loving the fast base one better than this one so far. Let me know what you think of this foundation. Have you let me know in the comments below if you try it out, what you think of it, if it's a good thing, or if it's not that good. For nine quid, I think it's good for nine quid and I love that they do different shades. For me, I'm gonna still keep wearing it. Do not touch your face. If you're always a touch of the nose, don't touch your face, it's just gonna come off your nose. Um, and you see my nose is looking bad right now because of that. But I just wanna show you, if you're touching nose, do not get this product. If you're not, if you're not a face toucher, get this product. If so guys, I hope you like this review. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.